The third iteration of Vortex's highly successful Razor series of rifle scopes is now out in the hands of the shooting public. We now have the opportunity to tell our listeners what we think of the latest, greatest design features and performance from one of the finest offerings in the precision rifle scope arena. Since its introduction in 2010 and the second generation release in 2014, the Vortex Razor has enjoyed the distinction of being a rugged, reliable scope. This version appears to be no different in that regard, uh, though it features a whole host of design and functional improvements, including the fantastic new EBR7D reticle and the improved LTEC Zero system. Not to mention the sub- substantial magnification range upgrade of 6 power at the bottom of the adjustment to 36 power wound all the way to the top. This is a large uh, and very useful selection of magnification to suit all but the most extreme ranges of what we're now able to accomplish with the ballistic technology available to civilian shoulder-fired arms. And even at that, 36 power certainly is not much of a handicap. On the outside, the highly distinguishable stealth shadow color that has always been exclusively razor remains. The total length is increased nearly an inch to 15.3 from the Gen 2's 14.4 inches, where presumably the increase in focal ratio results in improved optical quality and field of view. Commonly referred to as the speed of a scope, uh, the lengths between lenses determine how the image and its colors are transferred through the lenses and resolved between them. A shorter, faster scope uh, must have much more precise lenses and spacing uh, to result in correct focal ratios than does a longer, slower scope. Combine highly precise lenses with longer, more forgiving spacing and you have the best possible combination of conditions to attain the best image possible. Elsewhere externally, the appearance of the turrets has changed a bit and the removable caps to access the LTEC Zero system are now a thing of the past. This system is now a sealed, fully exposed assembly uh, for ease of use and a reduction of parts to be potentially lost or damaged. Paired with this system is a micro-adjust dial allowing the operator to quickly fine-tune a zero more precisely than is achievable with standard click adjustments. The LTEC system features a single set screw on each dial accessed externally with the provided tool, making zeroing simple and easy. And as an added bonus, the system works to provide the shooter with more usable travel adjustment than conventional zero-set, zero-stop systems. Alongside the elevation turret, the Gen 3 Razor sports an all-new rotation indicator providing visual confirmation of the position of the dial. The indicator button pops out once the dial is turned past the first revolution, in this case 25 MOA. If you're anything like me and get distracted by the action of a match, this is a very welcome upgrade to help reduce the missteps potentially encountered under time constraints. Further port side and set within the parallax adjustment dial, The locking side illumination features 11 settings with off positions between each setting so you can adapt an appropriate illumination setting for any situation. For the turret adjustments themselves, there is not much to be said that is not already expected in a piece of equipment of this caliber. The large locking dials fit in the hand very nicely and clicks are extremely positive, imparting tremendous confidence in the operator that the setting has landed right where he has intended. Backing up to the ocular lens end of things, the generous magnification range is controlled by a very smooth and easy to adjust power ring. We tested this scope in 10 degrees Celsius below zero, and even at that temperature there was no no noticeable stiffness compared to when we were playing with the scope indoors at room temperature. I have to say I was a bit captivated by the graduations on the ocular assembly as I spun it out to suit my old eyes. Uh, Maybe I've been living under a rock and running old equipment, but I've never seen this feature before and it makes a lot of sense as far as I'm concerned. The Vortex Razor Gen 3 is a very feature-rich scope, capable of running with the best in the industry. The glass quality, ruggedness and decisive nature of the turrets, the magnification adjustment range, the highly functional EBR7D reticle, and the ability to resolve an amazing image in any magnification in all conditions that we tested it in really put smiles on our faces. However, all this awesomeness comes at some cost. She's a hefty girl. 
Coming in at 2.8 pounds, uh, there's no mistaking that you're in possession of a lot of glass. With the recent trend toward heavier and heavier precision rifles, uh, weight of scopes may not be as much of a concern as it used to be. I think that in many cases, the additional weight is actually a welcome characteristic, having seen more and more rifles at matches that are well in excess of 20 pounds. Now, all that said, the Razor Gen 3 is about 3.5 ounces lighter than the Gen 2 version. So if weight does not matter, or if weight does matter to you, perhaps this is just one more thing you might find appealing about the Gen 3. As stated earlier, the Gen 3 magnification range has been updated to 6 to 36 power. The entire range is contained within a 180 degree turn of the control dial, which is very handy when trying to find the right sight picture for the work required. Especially when magnification is backed off to find a target with the increased field of view and then must quickly be dialed up again uh, to achieve the, requ the required resolution for a precise shot. Couple this with the included throw lever and the operator has a very fast, very handy magnification system. I just want to add that with this scope there's no noticeable tunneling at lower magnifications that is common with a lot of scopes of higher magnification capabilities. Vortex claims an eye relief of three and a half inches uh, and was very easy to get behind and arrive at a perfect sight picture. Commonly referred to as the eye box, there was no issue with hunting to find the right eye position. Field of view through the magnification range is stated to be 20 and a half feet at 100 yards on 6 power and 3 and a half feet uh, at 100 yards on 36 power. Throughout testing, there was no noticeable image distortion of any sort once focused correctly. The contrast and resolution in this scope is outstanding, and the chromatic aberration that is often difficult to resolve in other scopes, especially when looking toward the sun, uh, was not observed. You know, that coloring, uh, that colorful shadowing around the reticle that you find in some optics in certain light? Yeah, that, was, that, that never happened at all with the Gen 3 in our testing. Getting the scope to produce an amazing image was <laughs> kind of stupid easy. Some of the best glass we've ever looked through, no question. The Gen 3 Razor features an improved reticle design named the EBR7D. This is an extremely useful reticle system and lends itself well to multiple target engagements at different ranges very, very quickly. Our demonstration unit was the first focal plane uh, minute of angle option with 38 minutes of angle available elevation below the center aiming point and 28 and a half minutes uh, of windage available each side of center. For those really close shots or for those opportunities where measuring the culmination point of a bullet in flight is necessary, there is a total of 28 minutes of angle above center. The EBR7D has an impressive amount of subtension variations for all hold and measuring needs. The coarsely graduated areas through the center of the reticle are fairly standard at one minute of angle spacing with finer half minute of angle spacing at the sides and top of the reticle. The floating center dot has a diameter of 0.1 minutes of angle, allowing for unobscured, highly precise aiming. We found this to be a very nice feature. Uh, it felt as though I could take the eye out of a gnat with that thing. The windage dots proved to be very useful when doing quick target acquisition drills, uh, as the wind on test day was blowing between 10 to 14 miles an hour and our drill targets were placed between 400 and 700 meters. We dialed the 6.5x47 Lapua for 400 meters with a left hold of 3.2 minutes and engaged. The next target is 600 meters, required an elevation hold on the reticle of 14.7 minutes of angle, uh, which I bracketed between 14 and 15, and held the 4 minute of angle windage dot position on the left edge of the full size silhouette. Uh, the, the final target was engaged using the 20 minute line of dots held on the bottom of the plate with the 6 minute dot placed at the bottom left corner for another successful impact. This is always a very fun exercise that we like to do for situations just like this to keep us sharp on using the reticle subtensions for quick engagements. The EBR7D is very intuitive and super easy to use. It is obvious to us that this is due to the substantial shooter input and past reticle system lessons learned. Well done, Vortex. All in all, the Vortex Razor Gen 3 is a truly wonderful precision rifle scope. 
This is really saying something, is despite having owned several Vortexes, I've never been an enthusiastic Vortex flag waver. We could not find one thing that we disliked or had trouble with with this scope. Uh, well, I guess there is one thing. Chris simply cannot get past the color of the razors. He never did like it, and he's not given up on that position. If you get the chance, do not pass up an opportunity to check one of these Gen 3s out at a local gun shop or to match this year where there will likely be several on the line. I promise you, at the very least, it will raise an eyebrow for you. We're confident that you'll like what you see as much as we did.